Hi! Hi folks! Well, that dope Joe and the Democrats, they erased the southern border and inviting everyone to come into this country illegally. And Texas and Arizona have been burdened with the majority of these illegals. And these two states have taken to busing these illegals at their agreement to so-called sanctuary cities, Democrat sanctuary cities. And the Democrat mayors have been objecting. That's not right. You're sending us a couple of hundred. You need to keep them with a couple of hundred thousand of illegals in your jurisdictions. Well, recently, the governor of Florida, Republican Ron DeSantis, he put on a plane after they agreed, the illegals, and sent that plane, or planes, to a place in Massachusetts called Martha's Vineyard. Now, Martha's Vineyard is one of the most affluent white communities in these United States of America. An average home there costs well over a million dollars. So when these planes landed with Joe Biden's illegals from Florida to Martha's Vineyard in Massachusetts, why? There was an outcry by the news media. There was an outcry by them, their Democrats. How dare you put them on planes and ship them to other cities? They're forgetting the fact, or they're ignoring the fact, that that dope Joe did that himself, most notably in the middle of the night, flying illegals into Westchester County, New York, and there was no complaints. Nobody was saying that they were being kidnapped, that they were being forced, but they're saying that about those two plane loads that wound up in Martha's Vineyard. They're being kidnapped. That's human trafficking. So when the dope Joe does it, it's silencio. But when a Republican mimics what Joe's done, why are you no good scoundrel? The duplicity of liberals, Democrats, and the news media in DJ United States of America. <laughs>